Hello everyone. The natural calamities like earthquake, cyclone, tsunamis and the man-made disasters such as poisonous gas leakage and chemical hazards in chemical factories results in a heavy loss of man and material. The most difficult task for a rescue team in such a condition is to identify the alive human being amongst the dead bodies. According to our studies, 30 to 50% of the victims are dead because of the delay in by the rescue team in identifying them. Hence, we propose ARTS, that is Advanced Rescue Robo with Thermal Sensing, which will help the rescue team to detect the alive person among the dead bodies, so that they can channelize their efforts in a direction to save the people in dire of help. If the area of disaster is large enough, like in earthquake, in tsunami, then the group of such prototypes will cover the whole area to extract the location of alive human beings, so that the uh, rescuing team can work in a better way. Now I present you the constructional detail of ARTS in the form of block diagrams. As you can see here, the Texas Instruments Launchpad MSP430F5529 is a main controller of this prototype. We have included odometer module, light dependent resistance module, a LED torch, ultrasonic sensor and a remote to control the launchpad. Uh, here we have included the motor controller, motor driver, uh, in which we have included Texas Instruments LM324N, which is a logic converter IC, uh, Texas Instruments L293DNE, which is a motor driver, which in turn controls the motor and the direction of bot. Now I present you the live demonstration of our prototype. This is the lower part of our prototype. Let me begin my demonstration with the odometry module. This one is infrared LED and this one is a photodiode. As you can see, there are holes carved through the wheels. Now whenever a hole is encountered, the photodiode here, it sends the 3 byte data packet to the hyperterminal software where this data can be calibrated to get the exact location of the bot at the site. Now as you can see, we are having one odometry module at this wheel as well as one odometry module at the another wheel. So both of them can work together to get the angular location as well as the linear location of the bot at the site. This is the module used for odometer. This is extracted from the traditional ball mouse. The data from those two photodiodes serves as an input to this module. In turn, it provides a data packet of 3 byte serially to the hyperterminal software. After the odometer module, let me move on to ultrasonic sensor. This sensor provides a better obstacle avoidance. To the prototype. It basically provides an interrupt to the Texas Instruments microcontroller MSP430 F5529, which in turn stops the bot and turn it in some other direction. The Texas Instruments launch pad MSP430 F5529 LP is the heart of this prototype. For the demonstration purpose, we have used USB cable to power it up. It gets the data from ultrasonic sensor, light dependent resistor, odometry module and it provides the output to the motor controller circuit which is Texas Instruments L293D. But the problem is that uh, L293D, the motor controller IC, it works on a plus 5 volt logic. Whereas our launch pad MSP430, it provides 3.3 logic. So we have to change the 3.3 logic to the plus 5 logic. Hence, we have used a pull-up circuit. This is Texas Instruments LM324 Quad Op Amp IC. We have applied the 3.3 logic from launch pad as an input to this IC. And the output of this IC as plus 5 volt logic is applied to L293D which is a motor driver. This is the light dependent resistance module. 
whenever there is a change in intensity of light at the surrounding, the resistance of this LDR module changes. Due to the variation of this resistance, it sends the data to MSP430 launchpad. Now this launchpad using analog to digital converter sends a signal to this torch. Whenever there is a dark, the LDR module will send a signal. It will send the signal to the torch and the torch will get on. And whenever there is a sufficient light, then torch will normally off. Now I am showing you how it will work. As you can see, there is a suffi there is sufficient light. Now I am creating a dark and you can see the difference. Our prototype is having one megapixel <coughs> camera. The night vision of this camera is enhanced using this LED torch and LDR pair. The camera works as an eye for this prototype. It provides the visual feed of the site of the disaster to the operator of the robot. As you can see, this is the visual feed which the robot controller will get on his laptop. This prototype can evolve further using the thermal camera. Now if this robot is lashed with a thermal camera, it can better distinguish between the dead and alive people. Hence we are hot blooded, so until the human is alive, it emits the infrared radiations. Now the thermal camera will capture the infrared radiation and it will distinguish between dead and alive human. Hence the arts will help those who are in dire of help at the time of calamities and also it will provide a better channelized effort to those who are in the rescuing team. Thank you.